The Troyton Lego Railway is now on Patreon. There are two tiers to choose from. The first tier is a smaller, more general support amount, and the second is the Locomotive Builder, which is for more hardcore Lego train fans. These tiers unlock things including having your name featured in each video. You will have access to updates in regards to the Triton Lego Railway, both anything personal that may affect the railway and the railway as a whole. You will be able to have participation in polls for current and future projects. You will be able to decide what comes next. You will have early access and sneak peeks to anything related to work in progress for rolling stock, structures, locomotives and anything else being built on the Triton Lego Railway. And finally, you will have access to LEGO Digital Designer files of my locomotives. I have had many requests for instructions for various models by many people, and the best way for me to deliver this is through LEGO Digital Designer. To do this in real life and brick build them as a live LEGO build video is going to be quite complicated, and through the use of LEGO Digital Designer you can see the bricks themselves, maybe make some modifications to make it your own kind of model, and it is something that I am very familiar with, so we are going with that. If you like what you see and want to help me expand my LEGO Railway, then consider being a member on Patreon today. Anything you give through Patreon will all go towards the Triton LEGO Railway. It's all towards building LEGO trains and all towards building the best LEGO Railway possible. Link to the Patreon page is in the description below. Hello and welcome to another LEGO Mock Showcase video. This is for a small open wagon with the TLR logo written on the side. So this is the first step for getting back into rolling stock. I previously had four long open wagons of a similar design but about twice in length and half the detail. I thought, you know what, I may as well get rid of those because, you know, it's taking up space. Those light grey bricks might become useful in the future. And to have something smaller like this is actually quite nice. So when it came to building this, I had enough parts to build two. And there are a few things to point out because at the time of building these, there are a few things that kind of annoy me. But looking back now, it actually makes sense and that's really lucky. So let's have a look. Just need to make sure I'm not going to drop the camera. There we go. So this is a fairly simple design, but in terms of wrong stuff that I've made, this is actually more detailed than potentially anything else. So the TLR logo on the side is written in yellow bricks. This isn't lining, these are actual bricks. You can see on the inside how they all show up there as well. And it is on a red background. This is a reference to Big Red, which is my favourite giant. It is, of course, red, and the TLR written on the side of the tender is in yellow. Now, in terms of trying to stay consistent, in the future I've tried to make sure that... Um, any of the Triton Lego Railway logos are written in this design where it's yellow letters on a red background. But yes, that's where it all kind of comes from, which is the big red giant. On the inside, you can see these one by one Technic bricks with the pins in are in black. That is mainly because these plates I'm using along the side here are also in black. The original plan was to use them in red. But those one by one bricks I couldn't find in red. But now I've got loads. But even then, I don't think I have enough. Ah well, nothing to worry about. But yeah, having some more black bricks is good because it breaks up the red quite nicely along the top. It's very common, you know, to get all these nice shapes in black. And it mer uh, merge yeah, merges into the base of the truck quite nicely. So we got a fair amount of details going on here, but nothing too crazy. We have an antenna piece going from the middle of the truck to one of the wheels. This is supposed to represent the brake that these wagons had. It is symmetrical, so if I turn this around, you're going to basically see the same thing. Nothing to really kind of go crazy over, but I think looking at this, it's such a standout detail, and I think it looks really nice. Also, when this is on a layout being pulled by one of my trains, it doesn't matter which way around this is facing, you're going to be seeing the same thing from all angles, essentially. So, yeah, having these two here does look really nice. I think that looks really cool. It's colourful. You've got some logos going on. It is interesting to see how I'm starting to take rolling stock a little more seriously. Rolling stock has been a bit of an odd one out when it comes to sorting out things on the railway. Everything has had its own reason for why they are as they are. Like locomotives, everybody loves trains. I mean, that's a no-brainer. When it comes to making the station and the signal box and the rest of the structures for the railway, 
I always say that it's a space thing, and yes, that is true, but I do pack so much detail into my station and signal box. But Rolling Stock has been weird. The... You know, I was going to say the last time I did anything with the Rolling Stock, I can't actually remember the last custom Rolling Stock thing I made. So, yeah, when it comes to what I have, about half of it is what came with LEGO train sets. And I don't really want to change them. There are probably a few things I could update and kind of clean up and make it look a little bit more realistic. But with how they look on their own, I don't really have any desire to touch them. But this will be a great start to get back into Rolling Stock, do things properly. I do have plans to update my passenger coaches, the red ones, since I am building this, or rather I'm recording this at the same time of building a new locomotive. I'll let you guess what's coming. Hint, it's in red. But yes, this is very cool, very exciting time. Things are always improving here on the Triton Lego Railway. And if you want to support what I do and help expand my railway, consider joining me on Patreon. Thank you all ever so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.